So China is arming rogue state lackeys. It is putting expansionism and power over democracy. What about the other side? How is the Alliance of Democracies responding? Well, they found a new rallying cause in Taiwan. It is the toughest tightrope in diplomacy. Let me tell you why. Most major nations recognize China, but not Taiwan. They don't have embassies. They don't have ambassadors. Taiwan basically has a non-official status. Do you know why countries do this? Not because they don't like Taiwan, but because they're scared of China. But now things are slowly changing. Take Japan, for instance. They always supported Taiwan. But behind closed doors, they had a problem mentioning Taiwan in public statements or having joint patrols near the island. Well, not anymore. Top Japanese leaders are now openly supporting Taiwan. Like former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, he joined a virtual forum hosted by a Taiwanese think tank and simply put, he let it rip. No half measures, no pull punches. This former Prime Minister was sending a direct message to Xi Jinping. Listen to this. The armed encroachment on Taiwan is a major danger to Japan's territory, whether geographically or spatially. A Taiwan emergency is a Japanese emergency and therefore an emergency for the Japan-US alliance. People in Beijing, President Xi Jinping in particular, should never have a misunderstanding in recognizing this. Everyone in the world should once again review the map of this area and the surrounding waters. Don't look at these comments in isolation. They're part of a trend. July 2021, there was a trilateral meeting between Taiwan, the US and Japan. The same month, Japan published its annual defense paper. For the first time ever, it mentioned Taiwan. It's very significant. August 2021, Japan's ruling party lawmakers held virtual talks with Taiwan's leaders. Again, unprecedented. And now these comments from Japan's longest-serving prime minister. The bottom line is this. Japan is talking a lot more about Taiwan, and for a change, they're talking in public. What explains this change in attitude? Well, we can think of two reasons. Number one, Japan is looking out for itself. Because if Taiwan falls, Japan could be next. This fear was evident in Shinzo Abe's speech. He talked about how the disputed Senkaku Islands are just 100 kilometers away from Taiwan. It's just a short hop for the PLA. And reason number two why Japan is speaking out. The country is not alone anymore. You have the Quad, you have the AUKUS. Everyone is charting plans to take on China and this gives Japan some insurance. Having said so, don't expect them to go beyond public statements just yet. China continues to be Japan's largest trading partner. They buy 22% of all Japanese exports. So Shinzo Abe's comments are not meant to escalate. They're meant to deter. In fact, Britain is try trying something similar. Their spy chief believes that China could attack Taiwan. Not because of strategy, but out of overconfidence. Let me read it out for you. Listen to this. Beijing believes its own propaganda about Western frailties and underestimates Washington's resolve. The risk of Chinese miscalculation through overconfidence is real. There is some truth here. China grossly underestimates the island's resolve, its weapons and its partners. To some extent, you can understand why. The world has already picked China over Taiwan. I'll give you another example. Between 2016 and 2019, foreign governments deported 610 Taiwanese nationals to China. To China, think about it. These, these, Taiwanese, these are Taiwanese citizens. They have no family in mainland China. They had a Taiwanese passport, but they ended up being handed over to Beijing. What do you think happened to these people? Reports say two of them were seen apologizing on state TV, and they're probably the lucky ones. The world must stop normalizing China's violent land grabs. We saw it in Tibet. We're seeing it again in Hong Kong. China tears up international treaties and responsibilities, and the world simply watches on. Here's what it can do instead. Raise the stakes. Show China that invading Taiwan will have real consequences. That's what Shinzo Abe did. I'll go back to what he said, and I'm quoting here. A military adventure would be the path to economic suicide. 
We must keep reiterating that peaceful ties between China and Taiwan are the only option. Now, China doesn't understand peace, but it does understand violence. And the only thing that can deter China is the prospect of an unwinnable war. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.